welcome back to the craft room. I have missed you guys. We have been gone for a couple of nights, actually just one night and one day, but um, we actually had a lot of fun. Took a little mini vacation and just got home not too long ago. I'm just kind of chilling and relaxing and trying to warm up a bit because craft room's a little cold and it's a little cold here at home, but I've got laundry I need to get started on. So I thought I'd show you this real quick and then maybe procrastinate a little bit more and go get started on my laundry but anyway that is like totally irrelevant but the other day I believe it was Monday probably no it was before that Saturday it was either Saturday or Monday I can't remember which but I got some happy mail I got a package from one of my viewers thank you Brenda for this um, I don't know if it registered I'm sure it did show up that I received it, but the mailman said that the label had been ripped, so I don't know if he's able to scan it or not, but I did receive it. So, thank you for that. Uh, Brenda sent me a Christmas card. It's a little bit late, but I don't care. It's still beautiful, and I love it. It's got some snowmans on it, and says, Happy Holidays. And on the inside, she wrote me a nice little note, and it says, Friendly Wishes for a Happy Holiday. So thank you for that. Brenda's got a cute little cardinal on the back. Absolutely love this. <laughs> I like snowmen, but I don't like to play in the snow anymore. Used to when I was younger, but not anymore. I don't know this. Can you guys see the sparkle on that? That has a sparkle. You kind of see the sparkle. I like it. Thank you very much. And with that, she also sent me some crafting supplies. She sent me four little baggies of some beads. These are some pony beads. There's some just some plain ones in there. And then there's some of those little star-shaped ones, triangle-shaped ones, whatever they are, that lock together. That's going to be fun to work with. I got this little bag right here. And this one right here. This looks like it might have some, looks like it might have some sparkly ones in there. And then I got one more bag. Uh, some pony beads. Thank you very much. I know exactly what I'm going to use for these. And the other ones that I have laying around and some other things that I have laying around. I would like to make some sort of <clears throat> hippie garland. If y'all know what I'm talking about. I have... Let me see if I can find it real quick. I, I can. Shock, shock. Okay. If you remember, I started a, actually I made a Tunisian crochet capelet thingy and I did not like it after I got it done. So I frogged it down and thought I was going to make a blanket. And now without getting the pattern, I can't remember what I was doing. So it's sitting right here on the floor waiting to be frogged. But this was the drawstring that I had on that. It is purple and blue. And it's... I got it quartered here so it is four times this long however long that is but I thought it would be neat to take this and use it to make a little garland possibly to string across my wall back here because that's normally what you guys see I try to make it so you can see my corner but I'm still trying to work and organize and get my craft room just the way I want it but that may never be possible because I'm always changing and adding to and taking away but I thought it'd be cool to use and make a garland out of this and hang different things down like some beaded strings and some strings with um, pom-poms on them and different things I got some ideas pinned on Pinterest some of them are in my crochet if you follow me on Pinterest I'll put my link to Pinterest down in the description box for you if you'd like to go check out my Pinterest profile but I got some ideas saved in my crochet board for some garlands. And then there's also some ideas in the, it doesn't say fairy, it says fairly. That's because my mobile device auto-corrected. It wasn't supposed to, but my fairy lights board, both of those have some ideas that I'm kind of, you know, using and combining that I think I want to do with my garland, which obviously will include beads and pom-poms and maybe some different crocheted items and things like that. 
So that's what I plan on doing with that and some of the other beads and pom-poms and stuff that I already have. So who knows when I'll start, but be watching for that. And Brenda, thank you very much for the card and the beads. I look forward to using them. So check back with me right back here in the craft room for my next video. And I'll see you then.